What's going on, y'all? Wolf, ba 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 back at you again. Wait. Another reaction. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, before I get into the video, obviously. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description below. Over over there at my Patreon you can find early and full reactions. Oh, I am five reactions ahead of YouTube on the Patreon and of course the full reaction part meaning um, full reaction. Uh, there are no cuts, the video is more clear, there's no fade whatsoever and of course the audio is much louder so you can hear all the character voices and it's uh, brutality, you know what I'm saying? So check out the Patreon if you're interested in early and full reactions. Now, last couple episodes. We were very, very good. It was very hype. It was very sad. Uh, and then it was hype again. <laughs> Tosin, he resurrected. He has a res if, sorry, so apparently he visarded up. Then he resurrected. So he was a visard plus an Aran car. He was fully in a, he was fully a hollow, pretty much. And his resurrection form. I hate to say it. It's the ugliest, or one of the ugliest, right? He's a fucking bug. He's a goddamn mosquito. <laughs> And his eyes were just the most disturbing things to look at. Sure, he could—he was, he was able to finally see, being a blind dude. But Jesus Christ, the, what he had to trade? Ew. Orange eyes with a fucking green pupil? Yuck. Um, luckily, Komomura and Hisage, at the, at the end there, they were actually able to take him out. Um, you know? Uh, which is very surprising because... Uh, Tosin claimed to be to be you know stronger than the Espadas, but then again, some of the Espadas claim to be the strongest ones of all. So I guess we can't really take their word for anything. Um, nonetheless, Komomura and Hisage were able to take him out. You know, um, Hisage dealt the final blow, which is very poetic because he was his he, he used to be his apprentice, right? And um, yeah, it's very it's very sad because we saw Tosin's backstory. Apparently. He had a friend, he had a best friend, I want to say. She went, she became a Soul Reaper. She married a dude that was also a Soul Reaper. That dude apparently killed her because he lost, because of a, because of a fucking argument. Like, what the fuck? Fucking loser, right? Um, and then Tosin from that day said that he will, you know, get revenge. On who? I don't know. I guess the Soul Reapers? So he acted like a justice, straight and narrow kind of guy, right? To everyone else. Um, but, you know, in reality, the whole time he was... There was this hatred, right? In his heart. Just that fucking hole of hatred. And I guess he finally released it in this fight. You know, we finally saw... And, and I think the reason why they made Tosin's resurrection form so ugly, you know? Um, is because they were showing his true you know, what his true personality was. He was, you know, a, a, a guy rooting for justice, saying all these, you know, fucking stoic speeches and whatnot. But in reality, he just, he fucking hated, he hated everything. <laughs> because they took what was most important for him very early in his life. You know what I'm saying? So, um, very poetic. Also, it was very sad at the, at, at the end there, where they were showing him dying, where he finally realized, like, damn, I fucked up. I fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Where he realized that he wasn't really, you know, living on for his dead friend. He was just kind of just fucking around, being a, you know, doing his own thing. Um, so I thought we were gonna actually gonna heal him. I thought he was gonna be part of the squad. I would have loved for Toysin, Toysin to join back. I mean, his his hair is definitely the, one of the coolest behind, you know, Toshiro's. Toshiro, Toshiro with the fucking, you know, horse mane and, uh... Fucking Tosin with the dreads. I mean, that, that that shit looks cool. But, I don't know what happened at the end there. I think it's because he was actually a hollow, even though he was in, in his human form. Uh, by the way, him dying with, with the ability to see, finally, that's... Oh, that was deep. Um, but yeah, he, he, he his body just imploded. And I think it's because he was, at, he was a hollow at the end, right? And of course, that's just a fucking brutal way to die. And then, out of the Garganta, behind Aizen, Ichigo comes out. So... That's where we are left off. Super hype. Now, each, uh, uh, as as much as we know, Ichigo is literally the only one that has a chance against Aizen. Because everyone else, apparently, the Soul Society, Vizards, Aizen's fucking, uh, the fucking 
allies, everyone that has fighting ability has seen Aizen's Shikai. So that means no matter how strong they are, they're going to be under his control. He can have them see, feel, touch whatever he wants, right? So here, so yeah. Uh, Ichigo is the only one that has not, that has fighting ability. So let's go Ichigo. <laughs> I would have liked for Ichigo to, to, you know, sneak up maybe better, think of a plan first and then attack. But then again, that is not Ichigo's personality. So I, this is totally characteristic of him for, for him to do. And I mean, let's see what he fucking, let's see what fucking happens, man. Um, he has to kind of fight Aizen without looking at his sword, right? That's how we have to do it. As soon as Ichigo sees Aizen Shikai, it's over. So we have to find a way to like, I don't know, turn him, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how Ichigo's gonna do it. I'm sure he'll figure it out. His battle IQ is pretty high, so. Let's see, let's see. Also, Unohana, that means Unohana is here. So she can heal Hiyori. Um, and she's already restored Ichigo's spiritual pressure, according to his robe. So, good, good. Let's see, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is uh, Bleach episodes 292 and 293. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get into it, alright? Alright, let's go. Wait, what? He just sidestepped that very easily. I like how he calls him Ryoka Boy. <laughs> Ryoka Boy. Dude. Dude. What the fuck's going on? Wait. Ichigo's... Ichigo's empowered up Vizard form, but... It ain't shit to Aizen, hello? Dude, he talks so greasy, I love it in a way. <gasps> Dude, what the fuck's going on? Dude, he just casually places his hand on his chest. Yeah, he's kind of beating Ichigo with just words right now, low-key. <laughs> Dude, not only is he a fucking badass fighter, apparently, Aizen is like the master talker. <laughs> He'll talk your ass down. Okay. There we go. Look, listen. We literally have the numbers and the strength, right? I mean, come on. The problem is everyone here is affected by Aizen Shikai, so they kind of don't matter, no? How do you know he's not using it, though? Oh, Keto Block. Okay, I mean, let's do it, y'all. If we gang up on Aizen, we should win. No? How, 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 how does he fight against all of us? Then again, isn't everyone in the fight except for Ichigo affected by Kyoka? So he gets it? Alright, this is it, y'all. This is the final boss. This is Aizen. Let's give it all we got. Still though, the fact that everyone is under Kyoko Suigetsu worries me. You know what I mean? Hey. Well, this is the fucking fight we've all been asking for. Um, so, here, a couple things before we move on to the next episode. <clears throat> One, Ichigo was in his powered up Vizard form. It's safe, I think it's, it's safe to say that Ichigo with that new mask makes him a more powerful Vizard. I want to say that. I think it's, I think it's safe to say that. Um, Aizen was easily able to dodge his attacks with just his base strength. He wasn't using Kyoka Suigetsu, according to what he says, and I believe him. 
So what? The fuck? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? He was, ain't, like, it was like a fucking walk in the park. Ichigo's Visard powered up for him. To Aizen. And Aizen didn't, Aizen didn't really do anything except for flash stuff, right? So, what the fuck, bro? That's a really powerful, I, <laughs> Ichigo's Visard powered up for him is really powerful. Right? I don't want to gloss over that. And he was acting like it wasn't shit. So that scares me, number one. Number two, I know everyone's joining the fight. The Vizards, the Gote 13, great. All the reinforcements, that's good. But aren't they all under Kyoka Suigetsu? Complete hypnosis? So it's almost like they don't even exist in the fight. Aizen can just make them think and make them see whatever they want individually, you know? So that doesn't even matter. Only Ichigo is the only one that can see what truly is going on right now, right? So maybe, I, well, I guess maybe it helps because Ichigo can find his spot and then launch a Vizard Getsuga Tenchao. You know, maybe, maybe that's it, but uh, yeah, as, as far as I'm concerned, if you're under his complete hypnosis, you don't stand a chance. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Um, I don't like how it's going, though. Aizen just... Just that stupid fucking smirk on his face. He's not worried at all. Everyone's literally attacking him, but he doesn't look fucking worried. So, I don't know. I feel uneasy, but I'm still hyped. I want to see what, what fucking happens, so let's go ahead and jump to the next episode, y'all. This is the fight of our lives, y'all. We have to give it all we got. This is Aizen. Fucking 200 ep episodes ago, this guy was the final boss, bro. This is it. <laughs> Holy fuck, we're here. Ooh, Slick Slice. Ooh, Sneak Attacks. Oh shit, he broke it. Dude! He's legit 1v10ing easily. What the fuck? <clears throat> Seriously? Oh fuck. That's one of us down. Just like that? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Bro. He just sliced through his Bankai sword. Hello? <clears throat> Seriously? Wait, that's it? He's just strong as fuck. I mean, thank you, Gene, for the commentary. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> wow. He's just a strong-ass being. That's it. He's not even using Kyoko Suigetsu right now, no? Wow. So he's just the, the, the fastest, the strongest, the smartest... That's it. That's insane. And possibly the best Zanpakuto power. Wow. Talk about an overpowered being, bro. Are you serious? Ooh, nice. Oh, shit. Hit him again? Hit him again! Wait, seriously? We got him! Wait, it just disappeared. 
It doesn't even work against him just because of his spiritual pressure? Ah! That's fucking scary. <gasps> Kiraku! Yes! Sneaky! Sneaky Yaku! Let's go! Inverted world, bitch! What's up? Maybe we can do it. Aizen is strong, yeah, but if we combine all our powers, maybe we can do it. Ichigo, final attack now. What? Ah! What? Bro. Mm, 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 mm. No. No. That's Aizen right there. Fuck you, man. Y'all forgot about the Kyoka? Come on, bro. This guy, this guy, what the fuck? How do you beat him? True. Honestly. He could have. See, that's, that's the thing. We don't know. He could have been using it since fucking day one, bro. We don't- oh my god, oh my fucking god, this is the worst. This motherfucker, dude. He has fucked over Hinamori so much, bro. Oh my, she's- oh, Hinamori. Oh, I feel so bad for her. He's been using her forever. This is crazy. How the fuck do we beat this guy? He's not only the strongest, the fastest, the smartest, the smoothest talker, but his power is the strongest also. He controls what you see, what you feel, what you hear. This is unbelievable. He's legit 1v20ing. Easily. What the fuck, bro? I have never seen a final boss this strong. Holy shit. Maybe Thanos. When he had the fucking stones. Oh my fucking. Who? Sorry, I was enjoying the outro for a bit there. <laughs> that was kind of nice. Okay. I'm in shock. Aizen might be the strongest villain I've ever seen. chance we have is for Ichigo to turn into that mindless hollow that he turned into against Urukura. Right? That's the only way. You know? <sighs> but will that even stand a chance? <laughs> I'm thinking no! This guy is taking on the Gote 13, except for a few of the captains, whatever, and the Visard squad. That is multiple fucking captains and lieutenants. 
And he's doing it, dare I say, easily. He does not have a scratch on his body. And he's not breaking a sweat. So what the fuck? How do we beat him? That was, dude, I feel so bad for Hinamori. <laughs> Aizen has been using her since the beginning. Oh my god. And then he even used her at the end there. And of course, Hinamori's best friend, uh, besides Aizen, I guess in fucking 13, was Toshiro, right? Toshiro and Hinamori kind of grew up together. And the fact that he made Toshiro stab her in the back. Oh god, the symbolism there is too much for me to handle, bro. What the actual fuck? I am, I'm struck. I'm lost. <laughs> this is a powerful ass being. How do we beat him, bro? Is there a way to beat him? Maybe this is one of those stories where it's a, where, you know, where we can't beat him. So we have to join him. <laughs> Low key. I don't see a way where we can beat this guy. So seriously. Fuck me, dude. Wow. I loved how, how Gein was uh, narrating for us, too. Like, you guys don't even understand. Don't, you guys don't even get it. It wasn't because of the Kyoko Suigetsu. It's because he is simply the strongest. I love that narration. That narration, narration gave me chills. Uh, off of Gein. That was, that was pretty cool. I love that. Um, Alright, y'all. Well, yeah, that this is the reality. This is the reality. Aizen is just simply a strong motherfucker, right? And that's it. That's all it takes. Huh. Huh. Uh, I don't even know what to say, bro. I'm just, I'm still shocked. I'm honestly just, just, just trying to think of ways where we can beat him. I'm just trying to think of a way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well. That episode was fucking amazing. First of all, I want to say that. For sure. Um, and if you're interested in watching the full reaction of that episode, head over to my Patreon. I am five reactions ahead over there. And of course, full reaction means there are no cuts, there's louder audio, and the, the video is much more clear over there. So if you're, if you're interested in that, go check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below, and of course, patreon.com slash wolfreacts. I'll say it out loud. Okay, well, this is the most final boss shit I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. He is fucking crazy. He's the craziest. He's the strongest. He's still smiling too. What a fucking dickhead. <laughs> so, that makes me wonder that whole time, how long ago? Because Hinamori was in that keto bubble, that keto cube, since like forever ago. Like 10 episodes ago. So you're telling me Aizen switched him and, him and Hinamori that long ago? Like for real? Who knows? Honestly. Who knows? And, honestly, who knows if that's even Hinamori stabbed? He could just be Kyoko getting that too. To just make, you know, to just make Toshiro angry. That couldn't, that, that might not even be real. Right? Who actually knows? Actually, it is real. Because Ichigo is the only one that knows. I take that back. Ichigo is the only one that can see what's really happening. And he did see them stabbing Hinamori. So that was actually real. But still, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Who actually knows? <laughs> Aizen, oh my fucking god, he's too strong, bro. He's too strong. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Aizen, hey, I, I I know a losing side when I see it. Aizen, I bow down to you, sir. You, you it's, this is your world. We're just living in it, as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry. Shit. We're losing this. I. <sighs> Well, that's gonna be it. Um, yeah. Okay. Hey, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next Bleach Reaction, alright? Okay. Bye.